Thank you, Ethan. The News 4 Jack's Eye team is looking at the safety of our newborns locally and what has changed in our hospitals since Kamaya Mobley's kidnapping. Eye team reporter Tarek Miner spoke with hospital staff at Memorial Hospital, and he's joining us now to explain why they say babies are safer than ever before. A lot has changed. Technology has made it easier for hospitals to track newborn babies from the time of their birth to the time they're discharged from the hospital. And even though the kidnapping did not occur at Memorial Hospital, employees there say there are multiple layers of protection today to ensure that a newborn never gets kidnapped again. If the baby should go close to an exit or an area where we would not expect a baby to be, this will alarm. And you'll let Joe out. When this alarm goes off in a real life situation, everyone in the labor and delivery unit is put on high alert. And if necessary, hospitals like Memorial can lock every entrance and exit down to protect a newborn. Babies are vulnerable and they don't have a voice, so we have to you know, stand up and protect them. Jill Bodden is the director of the Women's and Children's Center at Memorial Hospital. She says there are multiple layers of protection in place, all working with the same goal. Most notably, an undisclosed number of monitored security cameras throughout the entire hospital and frequent checks of any foreign object leaving the labor delivery unit, which could contain a hidden baby. We do restrict car seats and strollers. Um, that way it keeps us aware of who's in one of those. You wouldn't want somebody, just people going around with strollers and car seats. Delivery boxes and housekeeping carts are also searched as well, and there's limited access for employees and visiting families. It used to be that you could go and look through the nursery window and see all the babies, even if you didn't have a family member there. Today, if you don't have a family member who's approved for you to be on an OB unit, you're not allowed on. Hospitals follow the security recommendations set by the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, but each hospital also has its own measures that they put in place. Local hospitals like Memorial also frequently request that representatives from the missing and exploited children visit their facility to make any suggestions on implementing new security measures. Mary? Thank you, Tarek. Our coverage continues on NewsForJax.com. We posted the uncut video of Gloria Williams' sentencing today. Just look inside this story on the homepage.